This is six way splits and over the course of the next 24 hours, I'm going to challenge myself to build a flourishing city. Does that sound challenging? But it's fire content. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we are going to start off with are the roads. And unlike many cities, I'm going to add a road in an angle. Okay, so next we are going to add sidewalks. To finish off the sidewalks, I'm going to add 2x4 plates and don't worry about the remaining gap. I'll finish it off in the end. Okay, so it's time for our first building, which is a condo. In my childhood, I've built many small houses, but I've never built an apartment. So I want to try it out. We're going to slap on some interior furniture. And just like that, we finished our first building. I did leave the roof out for parts conservation. Now outside, I'm going to create a beautiful lawn with a tree and some pebbles. And I think it's time we introduce the minifigures. We got a mixture of Ninjago minifigures, DC characters and some normal civilians. And I think it's time we give them their new homes. Now the civilians have their own houses, but they have no food and slowly they're dying on the roads. So I think it's time we build them a restaurant. I'm gonna start off by adding plates and brown bricks and I wanna make a noodle house. Throwback to the noodle house mark I built a few months ago. And like that, it's done. Okay, so the people have formed a line which is a violation of decency. And the minifigures have a place to live and eat, but what about a place to work? So over here, I'm gonna add a skyscraper. I took inspiration from many online images and I must say this building was very repetitive. I did decide not to add any detail inside for time conservation and after a hard few hours of grinding, we finally finished the building. And it's time for the minifigures to work. Yeah, it's 1.30. Okay, so it's the next day and I did add uh, some small patterns outside and also a lot of grass. And now it seems like people are rushing in. How ironic since work is pretty boring. Now, people are started to work and in return they need a source of shing shing. So I'm gonna add an ATM and I think the city is all good. Little did I know that the people are now getting out of hand and are causing a big riot so we're gonna need a police station. So there we go. And now I'm running low on parts so the police station doesn't look like how I wanted it to look but it does give the idea so I'm fine with it. And since the city looks like a cement block I'm gonna add a small part for the city. And I also added a fence for the police station. Now even with the park I still feel like this city looks like a cement block and I wanna add one more area of nature so what's better than a beach. Okay, so it just occurred to me that the city has a restaurant but no source of raw materials. So we're gonna add a grocery store. And to symbolize that the, this store is a grocery store and not a hospital, I'm gonna use a carrot as a sign. And every city does have a construction site. So I'm gonna add a small little fencing to give off the indication that it's a construction site. And like that, the city is finished. Okay, so if we didn't notice, I did add some details in the end and we got still 10 minutes more before the timer ends. So I consider this challenge as a win. Keep in mind, I did sleep for 7 hours so I did lose some time there. And I added some palm trees, a fire scene, some chaos on the roads caused by Lord Garmadon, some cars, fountain and a statue outside and many more. Now I know I didn't add some of the important stuff like a fire station or a hospital and the reason is I just didn't have any space nor the pieces. Now if you ask me how the cars get their gas, well let's say it's electric and can go for eternity. I'm so glad I got to do this challenge before school reopens and let's just say I've been working hard and I got still more fire content upcoming so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.